one for Masson. He's into the box now. Puts it back. Oh, Fivey and Blair Hughes zips it across the six yard box and it's in for the third goal. So we only played 13 minutes here. Lovely touch back in Masson, and it's the second goal. It's a lovely leave, in fact, by McAllister. Touched on by Mitch. Oh, ball just bounced over his foot, and that's great play by the sub yet again. Plays it into the middle. Header comes in, and there's goal number three, Jimmy Masson this time. And, uh, Rory McAllister pacing there. He's not able to play today, and the header comes in. And they haven't missed. Vigers and Milne. And a little layback to 5 -E, And he drills it in from the edge of the box for the fourth goal. <laughs> Meganson, will this go in? Yes, it does. He's tried and tried all. because it finds Mitch Meganson who swings the ball across the pitch an opportunity could be no kick for Jamie Marson and he didn't quite get enough from the shot to angle it Viva, a kind deflection there headed away only as far as Masson wonderful save by the Masson wins the battle of the number 10s up in the last three spell and Cove will be extremely keen to get through to half time lovely one two oh. Meganson oh, and Masson and he looked to play that back towards Mitch Meganson a little flurry ahead of half there but they do have a second chance from this corner kick Cove Rangers eight and a half minutes after the restart in from Masson McIntosh got his head to it and now Cove counter that's McIntosh and Meganson. That's too easy. Mitch Meganson's got acres of space there to take the ball in, turn and continue the attack out wide. Fraser Fivey adding real composure to the way Cove Rangers play. Kept up in the last three spell. And Cove will be extremely keen to get through to half time. Lovely one two. Oh. Meganson. And Masson, and he looked to play that back towards Mitch Meganson, a little flurry ahead of half.